Start a company, start a brand. You figure out something that every essential needs. Something where it's very scalable. Like, I don't know, like a TV. Everyone uses a TV. Everyone takes, everyone drinks something. Um, water. Everyone drinks water. Uh, something that everyone uses. Like not a bike, because I'm not going to ride a bike. Your sister's not going to ride a bike. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So... The higher um, uh, amount of people that you can reach, the more you can sell. You go, then you start fucking importing shit from China. You rebrand it and you market it better. I'm the marketing king. King. I was able to make um, over a million dollars in my marketing over my CPM. And my CPM was fucking cracked. I'm a marketing king. I know what to do. So all I'm saying is take things from China. If you want to do a dropship model, that's very easy too. Very, very easy too. You can just do a dropship model. They fuck, you make money before you have the product. You don't fucking buy the shirts. Hope they sell. Or you just you sell something very simple. Salt. Something very simple. What's like... What's something that makes a shit ton of money? I don't know. Um, fucking. Fucking water. Let's go water. Let's go water. Make make like 200 M's off water. And then use the 200 M's and just spread it across fucking 15 different businesses. And then those businesses are all making bread. And then you're a billionaire. And then you save the fucking world. You feel me? My mind. I understand things on a very deep level. On a very deep level. I know who's good. I know who's bad. I know who's here. I know I'm speaking facts. Nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? I've never spoken nothing about facts. All I know are facts. I don't, I'm not, I'm not one of those fool gazy ass niggas. Like, bro, you don't even know how many niggas in LA, like, be talking like, like they did something or like, like, bro, it's hilarious to listen to because it's like, they think they did something. They think they like, like, it's hilarious. To me, I don't give a fuck. But it's like, because I know the truth. I know, I know. I know who made three videos a day for years. I know who, how everyone edit their videos. I know who people stole their videos off of. I know who fucking, I know. I know. I know. And they know. I fucking built this shit. I pioneered this shit. Nigga, I was, before people were making money on YouTube, I was making like, 100, 150 racks a month. I remember being in Kelsey's in Canada. My mom saying, if you made 20,000 a year, I would be so happy. I said, 20,000 a year, mom? I said, give me a second. Fuck out of here. I know I carried faith for so long. I was the face of that shit. But then they booted me up because that nigga Seb. That nigga said, Seb, you need to take time away from YouTube. You have mental health issues. He pushed that shit on me. He didn't want me to be the biggest no more. He kicked me out. He told me, he's like, bro, you're going to be security. Call my mom. Sebastian Hurts. And that's who we're in a lawsuit with. He kicked me out. He said, listen, he called my mom. He said, listen, your son's going to be a fucking multi, like a hundred millionaire. He's fine. You don't need to worry about him. He's just like... He, like, he, 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 like, let him go back to Canada. Let him stop making videos. Just let him focus on his mental, like, on his health. He had, he had no intentions of paying my money back. He had no intentions of anything. I'm only lucky because I got my shares. Because when we sell, I'm, I'm, a, I'm going to take a hundred million ticket. I don't care. Or like 70 million or whatever. I don't care. But... I might fuck this whole thing up. I might burn this whole bitch to the ground. You know what I'm saying? Because who the fuck is going to want to invest in a company 
that is so corrupt. Like, or, you know what I mean? It's like, why would you want to do that? It. I'm telling you, it's fake. These niggas get on camera. It's sort of God's funny. It's like, these niggas all group up. They film a phase video. They fucking squat up. And then they, they, they scatter. They scatter. They all go to the rooms. The homies, bro. That ain't a phase house. Bro, in New York, we, we make videos. We fucking film it. And we're still there. We're still there talking, chilling. Like, yeah, what are we doing next? Like, well, that was hilarious. Like, what, what are we up to next? Now, T-Wop, T-Wop's whack, bro. I fuck with T-Wop, but he's whack. He's done a lot for me, but he's whack. Uh, yo, that nigga, he fake. He, um, he's trying too hard to be someone he's not. I don't fuck with him. I fuck with him, but I don't fuck with him. Feel me? I do fuck with him, though. He, he's my how to be, like, he's Habibi, but... He, he, he's trying too hard to be LA. He's trying too hard to, uh, to like suck Jarvis and Ricky's dick. He's, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, like, bro, you're way bigger than that. You're, you're, you're a mind. You're, you're a genius. You're like me, but you you put yourself in the wrong crowd. We could have made a fucking. We could have made a fucking. This shit back on. My mom fucking calling me, telling me, get off live. Fuck out of here. The fuck? I'm just saying this nigga's trying not to fit in. This dude's trying to like, whatever, bro. I don't give a fuck. You fuck. You fucking work with people you don't even like. Like, bro, that shit ain't real. I don't give a fuck. 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 Bro, the thing is, everyone's fake. Because they want to fucking, they want to make an impression. They want to look a certain way. It's all. It's not about who you are. It's about how you look. How how you how people perceive you. Listen, I have been granted access to information that you guys don't. Un unfortunately, it sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. It sounds like oh my god, this kid's on drugs. This kid's crazy. This kid's. I get. I get it. I'm different. I'm a prophet. I am. I am. I, I don't care if you don't believe me. I don't care. I don't care. There's, there's been this, this light in me my entire existence. I have seen through bullshit since the second I was born. I know what time it is. Gaming was my escape. And then I was able to fucking start slowly sending messages through gaming. And then we started vlogging and it started in south. And then we started making those whack ass, gay ass, scripted ass videos. And that was it for me, bro. <laughs> that was it for me, bro. <laughs> that shit way too cringe for me, bro. That's not face clad. <laughs> That shit, that shit's hilarious, bro. They they gonna call that face clan? Like yo yo yo, y'all see face clan's new video? What was it? It was a water slide park. <laughs> yo, face clan, face up, baby. Let's go. That shit's hilarious, mom. Get the fuck out of here. What are you what are you doing? Don't tell, don't fucking call me. And tell me to stop live because I'm talking about people. I'm real. I've been real. I've been real. Don't tell me that shit. Where the fuck are my chains? Did I lose my chains? Oh no, I got it. I got. I got a couple on me. Yeah, okay, I thought I lost my chains every second. No, no, no. 
Ruggs amazing. Ruggs doing his own thing. Ruggs needs to stay in San Diego with his fam. Needs to. Needs to. If he came to the phase house, I should have fall off. Think about it. He's in San Diego. Yo, niggas keep calling me. Stop it. Stop it. But like Rugney Stain said. All right, homie pulling up with the 30 for me, baby. Let's. Go! Tonight's gonna be a great night for your boy. Color of blue. Color blue. And then I got 30s, baby. And then I got a pound come, baby. Can't wait, because all I got is this fucking. What do I got left? What kind of weed I got? The fuck do I even have weed? <laughs> Did I roll it off? Where the fuck my weed go? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever, I don't care. <clears throat> um, no, nah, rug needs to stay in San Diego for sure. Bro, niggas keep calling me. What the fuck? Numbers I don't recognize. What the fuck? Holy shit. But actually, where the fuck did my weed go? Oh. I don't know. I got that, I got that special cookies. I forgot about that. <laughs> but I swear I have like a lot. <laughs> Whatever, I don't give a fuck. Motherfuckers keep calling me. You guys keep thinking he's getting kicked. I'm not getting kicked. The fuck? They're, they might kick. Yo, is there any way I could turn off calls while I'm on IG Live? Anyone, anyone, uh, anyone know how to turn that shit off? Because I'm sick of it, bro. People keep calling me. I don't want to be, I don't want to be getting called right now. Who's trying to get me off the live, bro? Like, who the fuck he calling me? The fuck? What the fuck? I'm tripping balls. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to get off live for like two minutes, and then I'm going to come back on. Nigga, I'm so stupid. My fucking, my fucking, I was, I was fucking holding the fucking, <laughs> the phone on the weed jar. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> but now nah, Rugs a great kid. He's just worried a lot about uh about YouTube. He stresses a lot. He's like he's just where I was when, in like 2016, like where he's stressing over videos and all that. But he's a great kid, bro. That kid, I love that kid. He takes everyone's shit. He don't need to. He fucking, I love that kid, bro. But I I wish you reached out more. But it's all good. 